Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Red Dragons podcast. Hope you're well. Just a quick video this morning to quickly discuss our pre-season tour plans that seem to have been leaked by the wonderful The Telegraph. Now, Wrexham have gone as far as confirming that this will happen and there is a pre-season tour and it is at advanced stages of the, fi of the final negotiations, which is great. And apparently... We're going to be playing Chelsea and Manchester United. Now, we are set to take on Graham Potter's men. Whether Graham Potter is still in charge is yet to be seen. On uh, July the 19th at the Keenan Memorial Stadium in North Carolina. And then we're going to take on Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag a week later at the Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego. So this is a huge opportunity for our American fans, our Canadian fans. Um, to be able to travel uh, to the grounds, to be able to see the, the, you know, the boys in action and get to see exactly what we see on a weekly basis when we go to the racecourse ground. Excuse me. A uh, tickly throat there. Now, this obviously comes off the back of a massive year commercially where we have sold 24,000 shirts. And I've got no doubt that if you also follow one of the big clubs, Manchester United, Liverpool, etc., 24,000 doesn't sound a lot. However, for a club the size of Wrexham, that is massive to the point where we were unable to keep up with demand. That goes to show just how quickly the love and the expansion of Wrexham Football Club has been. And it goes to show just how much our foreign fans, our American fans, German fans, the Canadian fans who were at the ground very recently. I know there were some Hamburg Reds at the game yesterday um, against Dorking Wanderers goes to show how much they've bought into the club, the fact they want to advertise that they are Wrexham fans. And it's amazing. And not only that now, we have kids in the streets of Wrexham wearing Wrexham shirts. And we haven't had that before. What we have always had is kids wearing Manchester United shirts and Liverpool. Well, now Wrexham is the club to follow within the town. It's a massive couple of weeks ahead of us. And we cannot get ahead of ourselves. We have a huge game on Tuesday night. So I thought we'd look ahead to that very quickly as well. Um, and just have a, a look at Chesterfield. Now, Chesterfield's form is shocking. Um, let's just get that up here. Um, so their their run of form is pretty, you know, pretty dire. So our run of form, um, we have won five of our last six games, whereas Chesterfield on the form chart are sat twenty second in the league. That goes to show just how much they're struggling. Um, I've just realized it's quite dark as well. I haven't put my other lights on, so apologies for that. But they have lost three out of the last six and drawn three. They have a negative goal difference of minus four over the last six games as well. They've lost to Woking, Notts County and Oldham yesterday with draws at Aldershot, Solihull and they drew with Weldston. Tuesday night is massive and what I want to ask the fans is get behind the boys. There is an element of edginess at the moment within the stadium and what we have to do is we have to rise above that and elevate the boys play to another level at times against Dorking Wanderers we absolutely did it and I've got no doubt that on Tuesday night at times we will do it again but we need to be trying to do that for a full 90 minutes yes it can be frustrating at times when they start launching long balls but back the lads the title is now within our hands. We are in control of our destiny. It's a huge couple of weeks. We've got two away games coming up. And we've got to play Dagenham and Redbridge, who've just got a massive win. And we'll have a new manager likely by then. So they could be experiencing that new manager bounce. Massive time for the Reds. No need to rub it in Notts County's faces just yet. Let's go Wrexham. Big, big time ahead of us. I'll see you all soon.